What's going on guys? So today we are going to be setting up the Rhino Iguana enclosure like I mentioned in the last video. Possibly, I'm not really sure if it's the last video or not. But today is uh, the day after I finish this enclosure for the water monitor. So this video is going to be going up and if I have time, which I should, unless I, unless something happens that I, I run out of time, I should be able to finish this uh, either today or tomorrow. I do just need to get some silicone and I think I might have all the materials already left over from this enclosure. I know I bought enough acrylic for it, uh, the plywood. I think I need, a, I might need a little bit more, uh, but I'm pretty sure my friend has some left over from another project that he did that I could have. And I'm gonna see if I'm able to finish today. So instead of doing what I did last time that I did step-by-step, step, if you guys wanna see the step-by-step step and all the materials that I used and everything, watch the video that I set up the water monitor in. Today, I'm just gonna be doing a time-lapse of everything that I do. is done you see i already put in the sliding doors that door is probably rarely going to be open i might put a piece of plywood just so that i could open it if i have to because this is going to be there in the corner but there you go uh the only thing that i want to add to this enclosure in the future is leds across it so that uh it's all lit up perfectly that um this door if i open it up i'd be scared that the lizard would just run out the corner so i might put some more wood here and then the door would just start right here instead. And that way I could actually use it. But for now, this door is kind of just a decoration. Wait, do you know what I'm grabbing with my pinga? All right, so now just to add the two iguanas, I already took out their decorations and put it in there. Let's put these boys in here. Toma puta, me voy a grabar. No le gusta que lo cargue. You see, he lets me touch him, but he's, he doesn't want me to pick him up. All right, dude, I gotta pick you up to put you in your enclosure. Here are the two guys. They, they're a little bit darker than normal now because the lights were obviously off. What about it, man? Abre los people. People, wait up. Coño, el tipo este no sabe abrir una puerta. Hey, bobo, que mis dedos son más gordos que los tuyos. Oh, thank you. A ver. And there you go, look how beautiful these two look. Now they're gonna get nice and pretty with the lights because obviously in the darkness they were a little bit darker than normal. But now when they get their heat and their UVB back, they're gonna look real cute. And right now I still have the hide in there for them to get under, but I think that I'm probably gonna remove that in a few days when they're more comfortable in this enclosure because I want them to get more comfortable with being outside and being around me. All right, so let's check on the baby rhino iguanas. I just fed these guys some hibiscus. As so you can see back there, he already got his. The females probably, whoa, 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 hey, calm down. What are you doing? Nope. Get back, get back. Oh, she's not in here actually. Yeah, gotta watch out. This guy, he's a little psychopath. Oh, I think the female might be hiding under here actually. Nope, not sure where she is. Let's put this back in the corner. Don't jump out of your cage, please. Here, what do you want? You want flowers? I don't know what this dude wants. 
He's a little psychopath. You want a flower? What do you what do you want? You wanna bite my finger? You want me to pet you? Is that what you want? Come here, I'll pet you. Don't be shy. Don't be shy to ask for pets. Come here. Calm down. See, he likes pets. He's just he's just a little shy to ask for him. He tries to act tough. Their skin is so soft going back and then going up is like sandpaper. So look, if I go up, he gets stuck. Then it pushes him. This little guy. Alright, so let's see where is the girl. Oh, there she is. It's in the corner over there. So the girl's the more um, scared one. But uh, she comes out, she eats. Uh, she likes hiding a lot, but they always bask in the mornings under there. I always see them. It's so cool to see them basking together. Uh, the male's the one that's more... No, stay in your cage, sir. I, I, I wish I knew what was going on through his head right now. Like, I don't know if he wants to escape, if he wants to me to feed him, if he wants me to pet him. He's just... He, like, pretends to attack my finger and then just stops. What a little psychopath. And look at the water monitor right there. So do you want hibiscus? This one was for the girl. She only ate a few of the leaves. I saw her eating them, but she didn't eat too many. All right, let's close these guys up, let them be. Um, Cause he's throwing a little tantrum. Not really, he's being pretty chill. Uh, but the female is over there. It's a little bit darker than him. And a little bit smaller as well, but they're both doing really good. And here's the black tree monitor. Let's see this dude. He has gotten so chill with me recently. Look at him. He's always asking for food. Uh, right now, I didn't bring him any, but I'm going to feed him later on. Uh, I've been working with the tortoises right now. Uh, you guys haven't... Uh, you're not seeing this video, um, but this is the same day as the last video. Right now, I'm shipping some of the tortoises and after that i'll go to the pet shop well after i'm done booking the orders because i don't ship them till the end of the day because i don't like keeping them in the in the boxes for too long so i make sure i wait till the end right before closing and then i drop them off but look at this dude all right guys so i'm editing the video right now wanted to uh close off the video because um i've been just doing clips and putting it into this one, I, uh, I've been working on a lot, a lot of different videos, uh, but they all take a lot of time because I'm building separate enclosures, taking in different animals and stuff like that. Um, but for the non-Spanish speakers, uh, when I was talking to my friend, Alcomepinga basically means like a very smart person, and a puto is somebody that gets a lot of girls. So that's just translating for what I was saying earlier. Um, yeah, just for those that don't understand. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day. I'm just kidding. Those words don't mean that. But I'm not going to translate because, you know, monetized. Uh, not that I don't curse in my videos. I do sometimes, but it's not really that big a deal. And uh, my friends, they don't care. You know, we're used to pulling the shit out of each other. Uh, they bully me. I bully them. That's just how it is. Nobody cares about what we say. It's Miami, you know? Nobody, there's no emotions here.